oldest extreme festival of motorsport action is proudly brought to you by GNH Transport, Investchem Chemical Logistics, Motormark Clarkstrop, and Riskshire Insurance Brokers. Hello and welcome to the Kilani Grand Prix circuit out in Cape Town. We have a one hour jam packed show here for you from all the racing action that was on track. Epic as always down here at Kilani and we're going to start off with a Hankook Formula V's also brought to you by Risk Cure Insurance Brokers. We have 15 cars ready to do battle out on track in what is one of the oldest forms of single seated motorsport in South Africa. And these guys really do put it up here at Cape Town. They love the circuit and they love coming here to race. On board here with Lucian Ranchanda and joining me in the commentary is Dave Peterson going into turn one. Normally there's a little bit of action. Let's wait and see if they can get through. It looks like Jakke Schrix has got the whole shot in the green Formula V. Don't forget he is a champion in this category, but there's old hands running with him at the moment. Fat Vandenberg and Peter Hills also past champions in this Formula. Brilliant start there from Yaku, the bright green car. Can't miss him, got that massive number one plate on. Just filtering through there. Looks like no one's really sticking their neck out just yet. Oh, a little bit further down. I think it's Richard Carr or Byron Mitchell getting a little bit out of shape there, a little bit further down the field. But Shrix, you can see what he wants to do. He wants to check out. He does not want to get mixed up with this pack for that final podium position. As they come down through Rose Foundation, foot flat as they go through these. Formula V's handled very, very well with those Hankook tyres on the tarmac. Schrick says, already pulled a little bit of a gap. Interesting, third, fourth and fifth so close, but the front two drivers, it's Hills and uh, Schrick have gone out front. Yeah, you know, that battle from third all the way down to about 10th place is just uh, as tight as you like. On the back stretch here with Lucian Ranchanda, you can see the amount of wind that's taking place all Ooh, around the outside. Yeah, does look like that met. might be Brandon Hills going around the outside. Good move there. They come into the final turn now. Oh, locking up the wheels there on the inside. That's a brilliant move there by Sim Krobler. He makes the move on the inside of Brandon Hills. And one of the cars in the background, they're running oh. off track. It was going to happen on the first lap, but all he does with the Formula Vs. But it is Yaku Shrix comes across the line and leads for the first time out on board here once again with Lucian Ramchanda. And watch the corner speed that these guys carry going into turn one. What's interesting, Rob, is that we've got a strong contingency of drivers from Cape Town as well. So a lot of home track knowledge going into this race. But the national guys out front have just got that little bit of extra pace. You can see that we've got a change up in the lead. Shrix is now in second position. Yeah, our previous champion, Gerd van der Berg, he's now got out front, so maybe a little mistake there. All going on the inside of turn one, as is a pass now, also for fourth place there. So uh, that battle between Lucian Ranchanda, Brandon Hill, Sim Krobler, not too far behind. That's going to rage all the way through the rest this race. And look at car number 99, Theodore for Mark. He's hanging in there as well. But this is great Formula B action as we go to Rose Foundation. And it's Lucien Ramchande on the inside, around the outside. Yo, Brandon Hill's making a move there as well. This could all end in tears the way they're going at the moment. Look at this group as they fly through there at Malmesbury. Peter Yills has now got to the front of that group and he's trying to pull away, trying to close down on our two leaders. I don't know if he's got the pace, but look at the slipstream effect here now down the back straight. Which way is he going to go? He fakes to the inside there. Oh, look at that Brandon end. Hill's Such. so close. From Chanda up on the inside, it was as close as that. No tire smoke this time around, clean move. Yako Strix hanging on to that second place. And one of the drivers suffering a mechanical problem, won't be finishing this race as he coasts around on the outside of that track. Oh, we've got big changes at the front. Strix is slipping down the field. Maybe he's got a problem with that car because Peter Hills and Lucien Rotunda are ahead of him. Well, they're certainly closing down at the front. I don't know what's happened to the Shrix car, but he's certainly lost touch now with Kurt van der Berg out front. And Peter Hills is now also right in the mix for that podium. Here we go a little bit further down. This is the battle for the final podium position. Then Lucian Ranchanda, brilliant drive so far. He was on the front two rows of the grid, really enjoying himself out here at Kilani. And they are certainly closing down now on what is that final podium position. Kurt van der Berg leads the race. Peter Hills is charging. It looks like he's got a lot of pace towards the end of the race. Schrick's definitely slipping back. He might have a problem with that car. Maybe his tyres have gone off. But look at that. He's already lost over a second on that lap. Yeah, Gert van der Berg now comfortably out front. And Schrick's from that leading uh, trio has now come and fallen out of the top three. And coming into the final turn now. This is a perfect way to start the weekend's racing for Gert van der Berg to try and retain that number one plate. But look at the battle for second. It's going to go all the way down to the flag. Ramchanda has got this one covered. I don't think Peter Hill's going to be overtaking. We go down towards the checkers, we slip stream, we're going up the inside with Ramchanda, has he got it? It's as close as that. Oh! And I think Ramchanda might have just lost out there to Peter Hills. Peter Hills picking up that second place. Oh, how close do you like that in the overall confirmation? It was Kat van der Berg up front. Peter Hills only just by hundreds of a second ahead of Lucian Ramchanda. Yaku Shrix unfortunately dropping down to fourth with Brandon Hills rounding out your top five. 
Back in the pit lane, a lot of last minute adjustments to these cars. Jaco Strix definitely had a problem in the first race. He'll be tuning that car for more speed as they go down there. Menantes Motors car getting ready as well. And these basically have got VW Golf Motors 1300cc in the back of these cars. Brandon Hill's on board as we start the second race. Ooh, a good start from Jaco Strix up on the inside of Peter Hills. Jaco Strix into that second. Fat Vandenberg straight away has got the whole shot in this race. Yeah, Peter Hills right up there as well. Lucian Ramchanda. So as it was in race number one, the same contenders right up at the front of the field. Look out for Jeff Tugwell in this race. Also had a few problems in race number one. Looks like he sorted them out and he'll be looking to run up as close in that top five as possible. Car number 24, Tugwell. Much better start this time around. Round the outside through the quarry bend down towards Dempstrup, nowadays known as Rose Foundation. It is Fat Vandenberg out front. But the hills that's father and son are in the mix as well. And look out for Sim Problem, car number 38. And just behind him is Richard Carr in 49. There we go now, filtering through the two fast right handers onto the back straight for the first time. Looks like uh, Peter and uh, Brandon Hills are right in the mix there, as we expected. Sim Krobler also much better start. And as we go on board here, once again with Lucian Ramchanda, this is where you decide. Do you go inside, outside? Oh. Looks like he's going to go the long way around the outside. He's going to have to be very brave to do that. He does have that slipstream effect. Can he do it on the brakes and just ch chop across the nose there of Peter Hills? No, not quite close enough. But he doesn't want to see Gerd van der Berg and, uh, of course, Jaku Schricks get out front. He wants to try and stick in that slipstream and hold with them to uh, potentially get up in that top three. Yeah, it's the Hills, Brandon and Peter. Peter actually leading Brandon at the moment. And Shane Rabchanda does not want them to get the slipstream as they go down into turn one. Holes hook, it's flat out. Late breaking, oh, out front, Fat Vandenberg still leads his race, but Jaco Strix is holding on to him this time around. Oh, he's speaking to the drivers uh, during the race intervals, and they love coming to racing here at Kilani. So many overtaking opportunities, one corner leads into another. It's all about getting the momentum through as we look a little bit further down. Byron Mitchell in a great dice there as well with Richard Carr. And right out front, oh, Fat Vandenberg is now under massive pressure there from Jaco Strix. So Strix, he has sorted out that car, and he's got the pace now to run and challenge Fat Vandenberg out front. Looks like the podium, Ranchanda, looks a little bit comfortable there. He's pulled away from the rest of the field, and the two heels are now in a massive battle there with looks like uh, that's Sim Krobler. The other red car behind him is Jeff Tuggle. In fact, Tuggle's ahead of Sim Krobler at the moment. He's having a really good run this time around. Oh, and this is it. They go down into that final turn. Cape Town corner is late on the brakes. The drive through the kink, and somebody running a little bit wide there. That's Tugwell. He's stuck between the hills cars. Slipstream. He's too far back for the slipstream. Here we go in uh, the slipstream now with Ramchanda. He's going for that podium. He's right in the mix and uh, doesn't want to get slipstream to the line this time, but he's got the pace. He's closed up on our two leaders out front. So Lucian Ramchanda just put the fastest lap in the race. Oh, four-wheel drive steering there, going through turn one. Brilliant stuff here now. Coming into turn two, no room there, but he knows now he's got the pace. Can he use the slipstream effect going down the back straight? I notice he's got matching gloves and steering wheel. Red <laughs> gloves, red steering wheel. He's certainly got the red mist at the moment. Oh, running a little bit wide. It's Fred Funnenberg. And Jaco Strix, as they come down Rose Foundation, looks for a better line, tries to avoid the bump on the inside, drive down towards Malmesbury. I don't think he's close enough. This is the last lap. Oh, and look at that. Kurt Vandenberg going all defensive. Yeah, Strix has got in now, carry the momentum through the two right-handers and get that slipstream. Ramchanda is in the perfect place here. He's going to pick up that double slipstream. Is he close enough, though? Oh, I just don't think so. Beautiful onboard shot here now with the mountain in the background. Strix, is he going to be able to make the move? Oh, there we go. Long way around. He's going the long way around. He forces him around the outside. Can he do it? How many times have we seen races decided here in the final Cape Town turn? Vandenberg locks up the front tyre. Strix looks like he might have this one cover, but don't forget, we've got the run down to the finish line. Now, Gerd Vandenberg, he goes around the outside. That's not normally the way to do it. And he cuts back inside. It's all Slipstream City as we go towards the checkers. Oh, here we go. It's going to be as close as it was between Ranchanda and Hills in race number one. Who gets it across the line? It does look like it will be Gerd Vandenberg, only just ahead of Strix. Oh, that is exactly what we expect from the Hankook Formula Vs. Also, Rescue involved this weekend, and they'll be happy to have their logo involved with this awesome category. And uh, there's a the final confirmation. It is Kat von der Berg ahead of Yaku Shrix. Ramchanda once again on the podium. Peter Hills and Sim Krubler rounding out your top five. Let's go speak to the man of the day, though. It's Kat von der Berg. Yeah, we had a brilliant day. We started off this morning with uh, second in qualifying, and uh, then the first race had a good race with Yaku. Uh, and then unfortunately he had some issues in the first race, so I got a gap and got away and won easily. But the second race I had to uh, work hard for it. It was a brilliant Formula V race and I think we passed each other probably each lap there was a different leader. So that was a brilliant Formula V race and that's what V is all about. Value for money and great for spectators. So yeah, it was a good day.